everything. All right, guys. So we set up the HTML for our quote generator here. Now we want to do the CSS because uh, even uh, we're just kind of working them in order. We set up names, but we don't. We're not doing anything with those names. So probably the first thing I would want to do is change the color, the background color to black. So the easiest way to do that is just to declare the body here and say background dash color black. Very cool. Um, now this is a little hard to see this dark gray. So for me, I just changed it to white. So how do we do that? Um, typically you don't want to just target elements, but this is a single page sort of thing. So we can just say H1 and we can give it a color of white. And then, uh, I don't really like that font. So let's change the font to family to something like maybe, uh, Times New Roman. Did that change? Okay. Yeah, it did. So uh, we changed the font a little bit there to something a little more standard, a little more, a little more pep in step, even though Times New Roman is probably pretty standard. In my case, um, I didn't like how close this was to everything. It looks so jumbled right now. So the next class I kind of messed with and we can do it in order actually. Let's go ahead and mess with the paragraph. We'll just do it in order. So our body's kind of there. Then we did our heading. Now let's uh, let's adjust for the uh, paragraph. So in the paragraph, I wanted to give it a color of white as well. And then I wanted to give it a font family of Times New Roman. And I also wanted to give it a font dash style of italic. I really want it to kind of look like it's being whispered and it's it was a little too small for my taste so we increased the size to 20 pixels all right so it's looking good and this h1 could be bigger so let's go ahead and do font dash size to make it about 50 px cool so there it is it's looking very nice uh we don't have but again uh so we're done with that more or less and we want to see, hey man, this this is this is looking a little too jumbled for me. How do I get my image to, you know, have a little bit of padding? So you can just declare the image class, and in this case, we're just going to give it an all-around padding, so that we don't have any issues on the top or the bottom of 20 pixels. So if you apply just it like that, it's going to give us a little more here. So it gives us a little bit more. Maybe we can go like maybe 25. It's looking pretty good. So if we've worked our way down, the body, you know, let's just say this was the body. We've adjusted the H1. We've adjusted the paragraph. We've, uh, now we're at our button. So I, I don't think I really messed with the button. I just kind of left it alone. But uh, if you wanted to change it, it would be as easy as declaring the class and going from there. But let's get, let's get to our div class quotes. So this was the one that needed to be stand out a little bit more because this is where all this is supposed to be going. And you can see right now that's kind of the last part. All this right here looks okay. Everything else is kind of looking uh, like trash. So we want to get rid of that dot trash. So we're going to do dot quotes. And how did I start it? Um, I actually put background color black. We don't need to worry about that. But uh, actually, we, let's do a background dash color, and we'll do gray. Let's see how that looks. Okay, so there is that. Uh, and then we want to set a width to 33% because we want it to be like a box. But then it, gets, it does that, and it shifts it to the left. So how do we fix that? We're going to do margin dash auto, and we're going to put that or margin dash right, excuse me, and then the auto, and then margin dash left auto, and that should center it just perfectly like that. Cool. So what do we want to do? We want to add a border color, and we will say that's white, and then we can add a border dash style, and we'll say that's solid. So you can see right there, um, until we gave it the style, the color, the border color wouldn't matter. And then if you're like me, you always have to have the curved corners 
I'm not a big fan of the box look at all. I think I think it's kind of the general consensus in terms of styling. So five pixels is typically enough to just curve the corners a little bit right here and here. So that's cool. All right, what did I want to do? Uh, I don't want it to be exactly on this new quote over here on uh, all butt to nut and whatnot. So we're going to do margin to top, 20px. And that will give us 20 pixels of space right here. And then um, we have a, we have a little bit of space. What else can we do? We can give some padding to it. Uh, you know, it, this is we want a little bit of padding on the top and the bottom, so we can just do padding dash. We can actually we can just put it generally around it. So because we don't want it, even though it's hello world, we're going to change the font size on the inside. And once it expands to the size, we don't want it to go right to the side. So we can just use general padding. So we'll just give it 20 pixels. And then we want to set it so that the height will adjust automatically. Um, we would only know this because we did it beforehand and it didn't show up too well. And the reason for that is because the bat, the um, it the words and the sizes, you need to set the height to be adjusted accordingly or else the words are going to get too big and it's just going to go out to you and it's not going to look good at all. And then finally, we just want to set the color to white. And now we have white text with a white f font. And uh, I think we're okay not having the background color gray. I think I think I like the black better. It's much more clean. So this was our CSS. Not that. Oh, I, I'm I'm sorry. I forgot the. Uh, we also have two a span class quote and a span class author. So in my case, uh, we're not going to see it quite. Oh, we will actually. So let's say dot quotes is when it actually probably a bad name to have one name quotes and one name quote. Um, in this case, all I did was I changed the font to the size 30 px. Hello world the world and we could probably change the text to times new roman but yeah let's do that now ideally we would probably want to add this just to the body and then everything in the body would have the font times new roman so there we go so i'll make our life a little bit easier so everything's got times new roman we don't have to add it to everything so uh, we had a font size of 30 pixels and then uh, we want to do the one for the author. And we can go ahead and go uh, dot author. And then we'll, all I did for it here was I gave it a font size of 20 pixels. And now we have a font dash, or font dash style. Was that what it was? Yeah, font dash style. And I made this italic as well. So you can see pound dash the world that should be capitalized um okay so let's save it so let's take a look we have our we have our styling everything's kind of looking good it looks like a so this is clickable but it's not doing anything so the next step that we're going to be working with is the javascript and jquery and we're going to basically say when you click this choose a random quote and we're going to dive into that next Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content and want to see more. And also check out my new series, Let's Talk Code, that's going to have programming news, tips and tricks, a little bit of tech, and just a little bit of my own personal hobbies and preferences. So if you enjoy that, go ahead. It's very casual. Check it out. And I'll see you guys in the next video.